Simple Grower Homestead. Uh, today I'm putting together my compost pile and I started a long time ago uh, back in the summer when I was saving all my grass clippings and this fall when I gathered up my leaves. Uh, now what I'm, in, what I'm doing is I'm putting them together in layers and hopefully if everything goes right uh, this spring I should have some free dirt and not just any dirt. This is awesome dirt. This is dirt that compost that I know what went into it. I know there's no herbicides, no fertilizers. I know what's going to go into the dirt that's going to go into my vegetable garden. So anyway, I'll show you how I do it. Uh, come on and we'll put some compost together. I have to keep backing up to get a perspective on this huge pile. Okay, so this half has been layered in. Um, grass clippings, leaves, kitchen scraps, coffee grounds, anything like that. And then this half over here, I got a pile of leaves and a pile still of some grass clippings. So it's a big pile. Uh, it's a lot of work. So. I probably have it half done maybe so I'll continue to do that throughout the week until I get it nice and layered and then of course plenty of water like when you think you've had enough water on there put more on and then I'll come out here once or twice a week depending on the rain and I'll put more hose water on it just to keep it nice and moist that'll keep the temperature up and help it compost faster because y'all, this fall, or excuse me, this spring, this big pile here is going to be black gold. I mean, it may be about a, it'll probably compost down to half, maybe a third of its size. But still, to buy this much dirt around here would cost me about $75. And now I'm going to have all this composting into dirt for the spring. Swing around here. So it'll go in my raised beds next year and hopefully, hopefully I won't have to buy any dirt this year. Alright y'all. This is Deb with Simple Grower. Hope everybody's having a great day. Birds of prey are out. You can hear them. So I'm going to go check on my chickens, make sure they got some good cover. Until next time I'll see y'all. Take good care and Merry Christmas.